There is the greatest player of all time, and there is the greatest career of all time. Two different things. LeBron James and MJ are one and two, right? Mm -hmm. The order is what gets people into a flurry. Mm -hmm. I like to think that LeBron had the better career than Michael, whereas Michael is the greater player. But that can also be, that's a twofold question now. It can go the other way. Which way, Brandon, would you put it? That's an interesting way you put it, John, because I think people would actually tend to disagree with you and flip it, where they would say, Michael had the better career, but LeBron was the better all-around player. Because that's what I hear all the time, is LeBron is literally prototypical player you would want. He doesn't have a flaw, even though, um, have you looked at his free throw shooting for his career? What is he, a 75% career free throw shooter? Is that not a flaw for one of the greatest players of all time? Um, so, yeah, I, I think ten, people would tend to flip it, what you said. I, I, I know what you're saying. You're, in football, we, we, we say the most talented quarterback of all time or most talented player of all time, you know, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, we have that debate all the time. And then, Brady, you like to phrase it, the, uh, the GOAT has the most accomplishments. I don't, I don't like to do that. Um, I can acknowledge that they are more talented than Brady, but again, does that really mean? Uh, again, back I, to LeBron I'm, here. Yeah, I know what you mean, but talent for me doesn't really mean much. Uh, it, it means something, but at the end of the day, I want you to get it done on the court uh, or the field, whatever the case may be. So, Bron and 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 uh, MJ, I think. Let, let, let me think about this. So talent, and I believe MJ is the most more talented than LeBron. I also think he had. Let me think about this, career wise. MJ, we have LeBron. Yeah. For me, it's just you can't, bro. You can't get over six for six. No, not going to one game seven in your finals uh, career, being the MVP, the finals MVP for every single one of those finals, having five regular season MVPs, being an MVP and a defensive player in the same freaking year, rookie yeah. of the year. He averaged 28 points as a freaking rookie. Get out of here. And for people who like to say, oh, MJ ain't an all around player. Go back. I think it was his third season, if I'm not mistaken, John. He averaged 30 or 32 points, 8 and 8, on 50-plus percent shooting. Technically a second season because his, his de facto sophomore year, he only played 19 He years. broke his so foot, right? In 87, year three, he averaged – actually, you're thinking of his sixth season. Oh, it was No, his fifth. His fifth. You're okay. thinking of his – 8 and 8. is. I know he went 8 and 8, 8 rebounds, 8 assists. You're thinking of his last year of Doug Collins in 89, where okay. he averaged – Eight rebounds and eight assists with 33 a game, led the league in scoring. Because his second, in fact, of second season was injury riddled, injury riddled. But, you know, that one year, they got 37 points at 23 years old. Yeah, it's absolutely freaking insane. So that's how, that's, that, that's for me how I look at it. You just can't get over the 10 scoring titles, man. So LeBron only did it once. Go ahead. answer that, MJ is the more skilled player. Stack him to LeBron. Who had the greater career? Again, I can't, I can't get over what I just named for MJ. Six for six, no game sevens in the finals. Six Finals MVPs, five regular season MVPs, Defensive Player of the all those things for LeBron. So, I know we love to look at Bron, right? And we love to look at what LeBron is now, mm -hmm. but we forget what LeBron was. You know what I mean? We like to say, okay, he made it to the finals and give him credit for 08, right? Yeah. But we also it's a loss. He lost. Okay, we can understand the context surrounding it. He had the inferior team and he really shouldn't have never been there. And we give him the credit for getting there, but he still lost. That's a record. That's an L on his record. Now, the one we all point to where I can't get over this. I can't. Maybe because I am a Miami Heat fan, but I can't. 2011 happened, guys. That happened. The Dallas Mavericks series happened. We stunk it up for what four quarters straight, four fourth quarters I should say. I can't mute it, John. 
It was a bad moment, but Michael in 95 came back and lost to Shaq. No, John, come on. No, that's not the same, man. He took a season and a half off, and he played how many games that season? That's what matters. No, 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 no. no. You can't do that, man. No, you can. You can. Because here's the thing. You talk about Michael getting an MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in the same season. LeBron should have done that in 2013, but Mark was the Defensive Player of the Year. But he was the best defender in basketball as peak of powers. He was one of the best playmakers and one of the best scorers. When you yes. look at the longevity stats, they do matter because yes. LeBron has 18 All NBA seasons. He has been the marquee star for over two, for two decades, year That's 20 great. now. Michael retired. Like Michael, re- Michael retired and only has 11 All NBA seasons at 30. What what was it? Michael at age 35, age 36. Let me pull this up in his. When he came back in Washington in 2000, oh come on! But that's the thing, my friend. In his age 38 season, my apology, because he retired at 34. You're not bringing up Washington. Michael retired for three seasons. I'm not back at 38, and because of injury, the Wizards didn't even make the playoffs. Nobody's listening to you. His production fell off a cliff. Nobody's LeBron listening at the to you about Washington. John, is a top five John, player in the world. John, you're a smart man. But that smart happened. Man. That was a part of his legacy. That was his ending no, to his no, career. No, John. No, it's not. John. Yes, it is. You're a smart man. You know basketball. Okay. You know nobody brings up the Washington years because we know that is not what MJ was. All right, that was a part of the. You're saying who had the better career? You're looking at all 15 seasons Michael played. No, he LeBron didn't has had a better. No, we knew nothing was going to happen to it. Nope, that's not that's not fair. You can't because... look at those years. That's bullshit, John. No, here's the thing. If LeBron has played in 35% more, think about this. 13 seasons, if we're going to take out the two Washington years, to 20 years. 13 years of MJ to 20 years of LeBron. Longevity does matter. And I do think over time it gets easier to play for a longer period because of all the advancements we have made since Ninety-eight and two thousand three. Yeah, but the facts are, LeBron morning, has been to first. ten NBA Finals with teams. And what's his record? What's his record? Does winning matter anymore, John? Does winning matter? What's Michael his only made it six times. What's it his doesn't record? matter if you lose what's in the conference record? finals. John, but it also what's his record. What's his record in the finals? Four and six. That's shit. That's. That that but come on, thing. and you and say Bill, he only made it. To six. Bill Russell was eleven what? and one in the finals, and people said when Michael got his sixth ring, he was the goat with half as many championships. Because Bill it's Russell not just about championships. We know that it's not. So just if it's about not all about championships, the longevity, peak performance, and quite is MJ. No, not longevity, peak performance LeBron. is MJ. Longevity goes to LeBron, and peak performance goes to LeBron as no, well. No, it doesn't. Michael did not have a case to being the best playmaker in the world. LeBron did. At the same time, he had a case to being the best. He defender. showed he could do it. He, he showed did. he could do it. He did. LeBron did. No, MJ and, and did. Timeout. Thirty-two A and A. That happened for a full season. He showed if he wanted to be a playmaker, he could still go drop thirty-two and give you. And guess what happened that year in the Eastern Conference shooting. Finals? He was knocked out in the Conference Finals. LeBron does he lose the Conference Pippen. Finals? He does not. He does the not. Pippen, now you're talking about the Pippin migraine game, right? I don't know. Against the, you are. I think that's what you're talking about. John, John, do you oh. realize Michael Jordan, before he had a legit all-star to play with in Pippin, once he got Pippin after that migraine series, he never lost another finals. He made it to finals every single year after that. Think That's the weird thing. People talk about Michael never losing a Game 7. Never got to a Game 7 in the never final. Never got to a Game 7 in the final. Yeah. And guess what? How many years in the Eastern Conference Finals he never got to a Game 7 because the Pistons were giving him that, that weapon? So, what I'm pointing Before at... Before he... Yeah, when he was a solo deal? So, what... Okay, see, this is what I love... What, what, what people love to do, right? You bring up MJ's early years and his faults, which I agree with, John... He had his faults in his early years, all right? Not everybody is Tom Brady. Not everybody is Patrick Mahomes where you come out instantly and you start winning, all right? Not everybody's like that. MJ took a little bit, all right? But I think we can all objectively look at LeBron and MJ in their early years before they broke through that they were still insanely great players, okay? If I'm not mistaken, Larry Bird literally is quoted saying that was God disguised as Michael Jordan, all right, in a playoff series. But when MJ did get his crew, and let's not like act like LeBron didn't get his crew, because before he got his crew, he didn't win nothing either. He might have got to the finals, but what did I say? He got, he lost, all right? 
that's still on his record. Because you want to bring up the Detroit Pistons stuff, then it's fair to bring up the San Antonio Spurs finals. Is it not? It's fair. Okay? So, when MJ got his crew, what happened? Six for six. Never lost. Never lost, did he? When, When LeBron got his crew, how many times did he lose? LeBron didn't retire for two years. Whatever the reason may have been, that's not the point. LeBron didn't take a literal hiatus. He continued to play every single season and every single night, while being the best player in the world for all of those seasons. Oh, wait, really? You want to talk about how many times has LeBron played 82 games? I'll guess. Out of 20 years. I think it's once. I think it's once. If not zero. You know how many times MJ did it? Well, when you're going to the finals every single year, like MJ, it's a little bit tougher, wouldn't you say? Six for six. Bro, you're acting like six. It's not a very high number, John. You're, what, you're acting what's like more six impressive, 10 finals appearances number. or six finals appearances? Which one would I rather have? What's more impressive there? 10 versus six. Yeah, but you're, come on, man. You can't leave out the context in that. Because, okay, you could say finals appearances, but what's my record in those? Can I have my record? If MJ didn't retire, he was losing the Hakeem in the finals. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. No, no, they weren't. We never got to see because he retired. We were going to go no. for it. That's not. That's not. that's something that we can debate till we're blue in the face, right? And we'll never know the answer to that. We can differ on that, and I we don't have to waste our time on that because we never know what will happen, right? But you, I love how you don't want to bring up, you don't want to talk about 2011, all right? Which is the biggest uh uh choke job in nba history in the yes finals. choke job for the greatest of all time you can't have that on your resume man you can't you can't so to come back to and why wait john no 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 no. because here's another thing you talk about longevity right oh i got your ass on you talk about longevity 20 years right how come 20 years how come he has never been able to become a consistent free throw shooter why and when mj came in when mj came in was he a very good shooter not for three-point range but no no no, i'm talking about mid-range shot makers when he came in when he came right when he came in i mean he developed that over time that's what i'm saying magic he found his set shot he found his set shot i'm not saying he was a great shooter but he found his set shot why has LeBron never been able to become a better free throw shooter? Well, he has. LeBron came to the league. I'm sorry, what's his career? What did he shoot the last two? Didn't he shoot under 70%? The last two years, 76%. He has shot 69%, hasn't he? Yeah, his first two years in LA, he shot yes. 69%. Yeah, so I'm just saying, you, you have to bring those up. You have to. 2014 happened. That happened. Like, you want to bring up MJ's downfalls in his early years. That's cool. We can bring that up. But we also have to look at LeBron's downfalls, too. We can't just look up. We can't just bring up 10 finals appearances. You can't just tell me, would I rather have six or 10 appearances? No. Tell me my record. But you can't tell me six and 10, right? You have to tell me the context behind it. Because if you tell me I go six for six and I go four for 10, give me the six for six. Any day of the week, twice on Sunday. 